Bonjour tout le monde. That was freaking sick. I am actually here right now. Time for the stadium fact of the day. Time for best of the ballpark. This place is insane. It's a final here from the Target Center. I'm checking off a bucket list one stadium at a time. Hey guys, welcome back to Garrett Stadium Travel. This is stadium vlog number 27. Right now, I'm in Dallas, Texas, and tonight, I'm going to watch the Dallas Stars take on the Chicago Blackhawks at American Airlines Center. The 2023 number one overall pick, Connor Bedard, will be in action tonight. I'm super excited to check that out. He is from my home city of Vancouver, and as well as the arena and the Dallas Stars as well. They're doing really well this year so far. Uh, I'm going to explore some of downtown Dallas and then head off to the game. Let's go. Hey guys, I'm up here in the 200 level of American Airlines Center and it's time for the stadium fact of the day. The stadium fact of the day today is all about the hangar. American Airlines Center has donned the nickname the hangar since its inaugural season in 2001. The arena's interior looks like an airline hangar with incredibly high arched ceilings. The arena's naming rights deal with American Airlines really drives home the nickname and creates a unique viewing experience here in Dallas. Gonna explore a bit more, watch warm up, grab some food, and then hopefully enjoy a great game. Let's go.
It's a final here from American Airlines Center. 5-4 was the final. The Stars beat the Blackhawks in overtime. Rope hints with a hat trick. An unbelievable night here in Dallas. And uh, I'm going to head back to the hotel and then tell you guys what I saw. Peace out for now. Hey guys, just got back to the hotel. 
Uh, Dallas Stars, 5-4 win. They really should have won in regulation, but it's fine. Rope hints hat trick. My first time ever seeing a hat trick live, which was really cool to see. Didn't know what was happening until the hats just started getting thrown. I'm like, oh, wow. It was cool seeing Connor Bedard in action live for the first time. Obviously, it's kind of surreal seeing somebody from your hometown be such a polarizing prospect and polarizing player in the NHL which is really cool. So cool seeing all the Bedard jerseys uh, on, on kind of younger kids. That was really cool to see. But with that, I'm going to tell you guys what I saw from the American Airlines Center. So first up is atmosphere. I thought the atmosphere was good. Really, really good. It's teetering on the great tier. I would say it's close. The one thing that did bring it down is that there was a fair amount of Blackhawks fans. Now, obviously, the home fans can't really do much about that, but there were quite a few. And the red does stick out in the green as well, <laughs> the sea of green of Stars fans. But yeah, it was definitely, I wasn't expecting there to be that many uh, Blackhawks fans. But what I did love about the atmosphere here was the fan chance for goals. Dallas, Stars, boom, boom, Dallas, that kind of stuff. The opposing goal saying, who cares? Or like during the um, national anthem. I know the clip for that was horrible. Sorry, by the way. But uh, um stars whenever the star spangled banner had the word stars in it i thought that was great and then for power plays your dallas stars on a power play all that kind of stuff it's stuff that the fan base just knows from doing it so many times no prior nothing prior needed didn't didn't need to be coaxed by the pa announcer it was all pretty natural which i loved and of course just a loud and rowdy crowd it was a great crowd tonight I think it's a Friday. It is a Friday, so that makes sense. But uh, yeah, really good crowd. Next up is venue. American Airlines Center has an unbelievable facade. If you ever go to this arena, make sure to look a little closer. That's what I'll tell you. When you're walking either the concourses or outside the arena, just take a look at some details because there's some really cool hidden gems around this arena. I'm not sure that the videos do it justice, but this place is really cool on the outside, as well as the concourses. The concourses are really, really cool. I think the Stars and the Mavericks and the ownership groups there did a really, really good job. Uh, what I will say, a couple of small negatives is, um, one, the upper bowl is far from the action. So if your sight lines aren't that great, or maybe your eyes aren't 20-20 like they used to be, or maybe they've never been 2020, then maybe trying to sit in the lower part of the upper bowl because once you're getting up there, there's no overhang, so you're far from the action. Uh, and the lower bowl is shallow. Now there's not much you can do about that, but you're gonna be dodging heads trying to look for the puck as it's going around the zone. And when people stand up, you, you gotta be ready to stand up at any moment because it's a shallow lower bowl. You can't get away with kind of going up in your seat, trying to look over somebody's shoulder and stuff like that. So. Those are two small uh, downsides, but don't really take away too much from the overall experience. Next up is access. Access to this uh, stadium is really, really good. You have the DART trains, Dallas Area Rapid Transit that gets you north and south mostly, east and west a little bit too. But those trains are reliable. Those trains are good. They're going to get you where you need to go, as well as the TRE trains. I'm not sure what that stands for, but it's more like a commuter rail that gets you definitely to Fort Worth. And I think it has a couple other lines that go other places as well. So definitely take advantage of those uh, if you're not gonna rent a car. I do rec recommend renting a car in this city. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that you're gonna wanna see that's a long ways apart. Obviously I'm not old enough to rent a car yet at 20 years old, but uh, definitely looking forward to be able to do that, especially in a city like this. So yeah. Uh, and again, there's lots of parking and good highway access for those who are going to rent a car. Last up is pricing. And this is probably what brings the arena rating down the most. There's not a lot of affordable tickets. The tickets kind of start around 40, 50 bucks, um, which is unfortunate. Obviously, if you're a family of four, you're a family going to see this game, it's going to get kind of pricey with food and all the other stuff, which is obviously inflated. Uh, and I did want to say this, I didn't say it in the last vlog, but Texas has such a good cuisine. Earlier today, I think for lunch, I had this uh, chicken fried steak. First of all, unbelievable. Uh, but it just kind of goes to show Dallas has a really rich culinary. Um, it's just rich culinarily. <laughs> so there's a bunch of Tex-Mex stuff. Definitely take advantage of that before you get arena food. 
the arena food i mean it's okay there's some tex-mex stuff kind of like a texas cheesesteak but it's arena food it can only get so good if you're not in those club sections so definitely keep that in mind uh there are some student discount programs so take advantage of that that's why it's bumped up a bit from the dallas maverick score if you've watched that video already and uh yeah the reason why the average ticket price is more expensive is because of the small upper bowl because of that if the upper bowl seats get sold out really fast you're kind of going to be forced to get lower bowl tickets which are expensive barely any around like just over a hundred dollars there was nothing under a hundred dollars i'll tell you that but it was all around 150 170 200 now i know Connor bedard was in town for the first time so that does inflate things a little bit but i looked at some other games and it wasn't that much cheaper so uh yeah so with that my final ranking for american Air airlines center the dallas stars edition is an eight for atmosphere an eight for venue a nine for access and a five for pricing bringing it to a total of 30 out of 40. I thought this arena was really cool. The atmosphere was really good as well. So it does get a pretty good rating. I consider 30 out of 40 a really good rating. Uh, definitely near the top, definitely in the top half of NHL arenas of the ones I've been to so far. Of course, that can change. But uh, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, sports content, stadium content, travel content, all that kind of stuff, make sure to like, subscribe, share, all that kind of stuff. I'm on the journey to seeing all pro major sports teams at their home stadium. And this has been stadium vlog number, oh boy, 27. So we're getting up there. It's been a wild ride so far, but we're going to keep it going. So stick along for the journey. Uh, and as always, I'm checking off a bucket list one stadium at a time, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.